Hello, it's your boy J4Ps back with another video, and today we are ranking all the EXs from worst to best. And uh, before we get into it, please like, share, subscribe, turn on notification bells for more content. And yes, yes, there will be another buff gameplay video coming literally today or tomorrow, but most likely today. And so stay tuned for that. And yeah, without wasting any time, let's get into it. So, number 16, well, the worst EX in the game right now is Big Mom. She's not really good. Uh, some people have been saying she should get a buff, which I don't mind as well. Uh, she's pretty ass. She's dog water. She's butt cheeks. P pure ass. I've never seen, like, this nigga is just pure ass. I, I don't like, I don't like this nigga, bro. She's just not good, bro. Pure, like, nah, nah. Aka Inu, number 15. Um, yeah, he's gone down, bro. Like, he's he he's powerful, but he's gone down, bro. Now, the reason why I'm, I put him down here is because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of characters that can counter him. Like, literally a lot of characters. Lots of characters with multi-hit that can, that can hit him um, during his magmag state. You know, that's literally his bread and butter, and a lot of characters... A lot of characters can counter his bread and butter then there's also a lot of characters that can nullify status effect and then there's also a lot of characters that can uh there's also characters that can take away his state and if any of, of itself so he's really gone down in the meta uh, sadly he, he can fight a lot of like other, like regular some regular characters you know saying that so that's why he's in number 15 Big Mom, she really, like, the, the run of Big Mom, she really depended on, like, status effect. Really depended on it. And uh, there's a lot of characters that can uh, nullify it. Plus, she doesn't do as much damage. And as a runner, she's pretty slow. So, she's had to be in the worst worst EX. And I can, you know, he could do, he could do, he could do stuff. Like, he could, he could kill Roger and he could kill Odin. So, that's the only reason why he's even here. So, yeah. Number 14. Odin, yes, Odin has gone down in the meta, uh, you know what I'm saying, because there's just a lot of better runners and better characters to use, even Bounty Festival runners that are, be are just better, but he's still a very solid uh, runner, he he can't he, he, he can't get downed or staggered when he's on, the, when he's trying to capture the flag, he's, you know what I'm saying, he, he's, if you play him, if you play his role, if you play him as a runner, he's good, and he does these, and he does more damage to defenders. So that gives him a little more of like a little more of an attacking uh, flair. You know what I'm saying with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's that's basically it. That's basically it. But he and he's also one of the fastest runners. So that's also why he's he's number fourteen. Number thirteen. Blackbeard, yes, Blackbeard. The reason why Blackbeard is in number thirteen, for me, I like, I like, I love, I like this nigga so much, mostly because he does, he does more power, he does more damage to power users, which is Devil Fruit users, and you know, there's a lot of Devil Fruit users that are in this meta right now. Um, he's very effective, very powerful. Some, some people even rank him even higher. And 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 guys, don't 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 for, don't forget, you guys can leave your opinions down below. Share your opinions. You're free to do that, please. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I love hearing your opinions, guys. I love hearing what, you know what I'm saying? What's your list? What, what would you, how would you rank the EXs? You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, he just does, uh, you know what I'm saying? I like his skill one. He could pull niggas, you know what I'm saying? He could pull niggas, take advantage of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Pause, you know what I'm saying? Black holes, pause, deep inside, pause, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just does his thing. Pause. Number 12, Blue Kaido. Yes, Blue Kaido um he is really really good um i feel like he's very underrated um he's really good unless like in my opinion you have to f first build his defense don't use him as an attacker use him as a defender i'll have to keep reminding y'all niggas because i'd be seeing some of you niggas be some weird ass niggas but blue kaido as long as he stays on his flag and he, and he and he whatever he builds his defense he's gonna he's basically almost unkillable the only downside the reason why he's on number 12 is because if you're not dominating the game, like if your team is not winning with the treasure, like if you're if you're losing, if you're losing, right? If you're losing in general, 
your kind of your effectiveness will kind of dwindle because his uh his uh no escape move is it's it's a really good move. It's it's like any treasure that that, that your team has captured, you use it and there's like a bunch of like bar like a bunch of flame bombs or whatever, right? But if you if you haven't captured the treasure, you won't be able to really utilize it to its fullest potential. So that's the only reason why he's here. And and if and if and it kind of feels like he, there's some sort of limitation when you're using Blue Kaido, sadly. Yes, number eleven, Roger, Roger. Uh, okay, pause. Now. Roger, he's really good, bro. Roger, I, I feel like it's going to be a debate because I know there's going to be a character next on this list. So it might be a debate between, you know what I'm saying, who who and who's better. But in my opinion, I think Roger is a number 11. He's still really good. Cuts down a lot of people still. He can even, he can even kill Gear 5 Luffy. You know what I'm saying? He still hits hard. Um, There's a lot of characters that can f fight him, though. There's a lot of characters that can uh, now fight him. Like, like that can now beat him, you know, in one v ones and whatever. But he still hits hard, bro. Pause. He still hits hard. Number ten, Blue Shanks. Shanks. Blue Shanks. If you use him, if you, if you're, well, he requires more. He, he requires more skill than Roger, right? But when you utilize his full skill, and you're, and if you're a good player, and you utilize him very well. He's one of the best attackers in the game by far. Like, like dead ass. Like, any nigga that that has fought this nigga and you faced a good player, you know how annoying this guy could be, and how frustrating it could be fighting this guy. Okay, I know it could be a debate between him and Roger, so you guys can share your opinions down below. You know what I'm saying? But in my opinion, I feel like Blue Shanks is just a bit over Roger, especially like the, with the buff that they made to this nigga. Oh. I, I, he's, he's just really good, man. Really, really good. Number nine. Zeph. Bro, Zeph. Zeph, man. I want this nigga so badly, die. I want the nigga why? I want this nigga so bad. Pause. Pa, hey, yo, pause. Listen. But I he is like a top 10 EX character. Very underrated. The only reason why I could even put him even higher is because he has this buff state where it's like a like 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 which is like basically kind of like his bread and butter where you just sm smash Buster and then he he smashes you and bends you over. No, I'm joking. Pause. Okay, and he he does the the the, the bomb thing right, and then uh, after that um the thing is it's like it gives you a buff state. But the thing is that there's characters that could take away his buff state. So that's the only reason why he couldn't go any higher. But even without the buff state, he's still tanky. But just, it's just, there's just, there's just characters that could cut him down more. So that's the only reason why I couldn't put him up any further. Number eight, Redo Yamato. Runner Yamato. She is really good. I think she's in a banner right now. And she's not guaranteed, which I don't know why Bandai is, keeps doing that bullshit. But anyway, she's really good, bro. She is really a good runner. She could hold her own. I think almost anybody. The only person I think you you'll probably be struggling against mostly is Claw, um, Zora as well, um, and uh, um, Ex Luffy. Now she's really, she's really, really good. She can, she can, she can hold her own against Gear Five Luffy. Yeah, she can, she can. I, I, I actually, I remember like I, I underestimated her at one point when I was playing a game, and I got one shot by a Thunder Bogway, bro. <laughs> so, you know, she, she's really good, bro. She is really, she is really good, and she can hold her own. She has decent damage. She's kind of like an attacker and a runner type, type of character. You know what I'm saying? And. Yeah, she's just a really, really solid, uh, solid, uh, solid EX man. Very solid. Yes, and number seven, EX Luffy. Yes, I rank this nigga very highly, nigga. I understand, like you know, he it's, he has some counters now. He has some counters, but bro, this nigga hits hard, bro. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's but he's he's really good, especially with Garp back in the meta and stuff like that. 
the reason why I put him up here is because his overall effectiveness in the game. Like, he's not the, the best attack. He's not the best, best attacker. But as an overall character, he's one of the best characters in the entire game, even overall. But um, I, I can't even underestimate his attacking because Bounce Man, it gives so much damage. It's insane. You know what I'm saying? Um, the only reason... Well, he can turn into Snake Man and Bounce Man can turn into Attack and Runner. But as I was saying, the only reason he is not any higher is because... It's because there's a lot of counters. There's Gear 5 Luffy that can counter him, of course. There's Zeph. Zeph can counter him very heavily. Film Red Shanks can counter him very heavily. Um, um, and he's like, he's kind of, he could kind of be a glass cannon at times. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only thing. But his overall, like his, his attack output is insane. He gives insane damage. Can one shot most of most majority of units especially if you don't build your defense um and yeah and he could turn into a runner as well on top of it he could turn into state man and could turn and could turn into a runner on top of it so he could he's very basically diverse as well so very 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 good just a very good overall attacker number six hybrid yamato now i was kind of debating between her and number five but um I i'll let you guys i can let you guys decide that but for me hybrid yamato is number six she's really she's she's very good the most balanced ex in the game but you utilize her to her fullest potential oh god she's really good bro she's really good um one of the best attackers in the game you know what i'm saying namaju glacier fang and her divine swiftness white serpent very just very good but this her skill too I feel like it's, there, it's, there, it's, it's like her bread and butter. Because when she uses it, she gains like this sort of like a shield. So, and if some, and if you end up hitting the shield, she would inflict you with this start, a new status effect called Frostbite. And Frostbite, she also has, she could also use it in her third normal, in her normals as well. And Frostbite basically, it basically slows you down and it, and it damages you. And the more she inflicts you with it, the more damage you get. So she's just a very good uh, overall, like just a very good attacker. Very good attacker. Number five, Fimbredo Shanks. Yo, I just like how it, I like just how I like saying that shit like Fimbredo Redo Shanks. Like that shit sound nice, man. That sound nice, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, Shanks is really good. The only thing is you, you have to be careful. There's a lot of characters now that can take away your hockey state. But other than that, he's very. He, 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 if you know how to use Shanks, he, you know how broken he is. He can he could kill Gear Five. He could kill any. He could kill anybody. The only main uh, counters you're gonna have to face is Hybrid Kaido, Big Mom, and uh, Gear Five Luffy, and uh, of course the Ultimate Op Zoro. So other than that, you should be good. Like he's he's just he's, he's a top five. He's just top five. He I have to put him in top five. I'm sorry. Number four, hybrid Kaido. Hybrid Kaido. Uh, I I don't even know how. Uh, should I even explain? Should I, should I explain? This nigga is just clutch. He's broken. Could 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 could, could travel across the map. Um, always c could be a distraction for 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 against against enemy opponents. Just very good. He's just a very good runner. Like invisible skill with the blaze and the this where you get literally to the furthest treasure. Like it, like do I have to explain this nigga, bro? I don't think I should be explaining this nigga. He's he's too nice. And he has anti heal as well. Bing one claw, so. Number three, Big Mom. Big Mom, for me, she is a really, really, really top, top EX pause. Um, really, really good. 
just really, really good. I, how, do I have to explain this nigga? Defender to runner. Um, she has so many skills. Like, she's she's unbelievable, bruh. Unbelievable. I, I, I like, bruh. I, I don't I don't know if I should be keep explaining this, bruh. She's just very powerful, very very powerful, very tanky. Oh my goodness, like. Yeah. And number two, Claw. Claw, um, she, he is very good, bro. Why did I say she? Hey, yo, pause. Listen, why do I keep saying pause, bro? Pause. Now, listen, Claw is, Claw is, is very good. Dual unit. Runner could ch ch change the kid in law. Two invisible skills. One has anti heal. One has a not back. Punk Vice is, is probably the most clinical move out of out of these both moves. I think Punk Vice is the most clinical, in my opinion. Just a very good uh, and a, just a very good overall runner. Could capture literally could capture treasure, and ignore the enemy just like Big Mom as well. Just a, a very complete runner. Very 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 complete runner. Could, he kind of he, he kind of if he kind of feels like a defender runner and a, and an attacker. It's it's ridiculous. Number one, Zoro, and and uh, don't don't cook off the video because I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet. Don't worry, I'm not finished yet. But number one right now is Zoro. Zoro could cut down Gear Five Luffy with ease. Okay, literally, he's the the main counter to Gear Five. People don't understand. This nigga is the main counter to Gear Five Luffy. Literally, I'm not even joking, bro. We people say we don't have no counters for gear. Oh yeah, we do, nigga. We do, nigga. We do, nigga. Okay, gear five. He gets cut down. He could cut, and he could fight basically almost anybody. Okay, Big Mom. A t Big Mom is probably one of your hardest opponents to fight because she she got sometimes she gains HP if you attack her sometimes. But you could cut her down as well. But it, it will take a while. Um, Yamato will be a little bit hard because of the frostbite. You know what I'm saying? Cracker would be a little bit hard because he's a dangerous opponent to fight against overall in general. But um, other than that, like, especially if you color change, which he can do, it's a color change attacker. That, uh, uh, like, you could basically fight anybody. Now, for zero, someone in their own league, for number zero, this is the first time I'm adding this, so, yes. And number zero gear five luffy listen okay other than zoro luffy is just powerful bro you you okay big mom big mom could could damage him but if you play well with gear five luffy against big mom you're gonna beat her bro you're gonna beat her at dead ass like i've fought in big mom's in 1v1s i'd be fighting i'd be getting two three v1 by you know what I'm saying? You can even 2v1 a uh, 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 Gear 5 Lu other Gear 5 Luffy's, nigga. Literally, nigga. But this Gear 5... Bro, Gear 5 Luffy can change it to all three classes. You know what I'm saying? Has two invisible skills. Bajran Gun. Gomo Gomo no Lightning, bro. Like, fams. He just... He's a complete character, bro. Mo I recommend you to mostly play him as a defender, though. Please. Because I, like, I see all you fucking idiots that be trying to use this nigga as an attacker immediately. Stay, you do your job as a defender and stay on your fucking flag, bro. That's the only thing I have because you guys be pissing me the fuck off, bro. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I'm talking, yeah, I'm talking to you niggas that do this screen right now. You niggas that be trying to use Gear 5 as an attacker. Use him as a defender, you weird ass nigga. Okay? 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 Okay. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't worry, the gameplays are coming. The gameplay is coming. Nugga, the gameplay is coming. So, you know what I'm saying about the buff units? You know what I'm saying? If you guys want to see my ace video, you guys can see it. I'll give you, I'll show my link into the description of, of yesterday's video. So, yeah. Anyway, anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Stay blessed. Please like, share, subscribe. And peace.